Hello and welcome back to another segment of UView. I'm here with Jose Montes uh, doing an interview and we're going to talk about your SM year, student missionary year this last year. Now Jose, where did you go? Um, I actually went to an island called Yap. It's in the Micronesian Islands. Okay. And yeah. It's okay. kind of near the Philippines around there. Now tell me this, what made mm -hmm. you decide to go to Yap? What made me decide? Um, I'll admit, my initial reasons for going were uh, really bad. I was going with the mentality of taking a year off with my friends, uh, chilling on an island, um, learning to surf, stuff like that. And then I do believe that God kind of led me to where I ended up. But yeah, initially my reasons were to take a year off of school and just hang out with friends okay. on an island. Were there a lot of friends that went with you? No. <laughs> See, that, that's where I think God stepped in because everything kind of started falling more towards his way instead of what I wanted. And so some of my, all of my friends pretty much backed out. And then I was kind of too far into the process of being an SM to back out of it. And so I felt kind of awkward and I couldn't really back out. And so, I mean, I ended up going. And at first I thought, oh, maybe I just won't be able to raise enough money, you know, and that would be my way out, but... The money came. The money came. I don't know from <laughs> where. It just came, and I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, so what did you do uh, this last year as a student missionary? I was an English teacher for, seventh, for eighth and ninth grade, mm -hmm. and then I taught all of high school uh, PE. All of high school PE? Yes, from like seventh grade to twelfth grade. Oh, my. Okay, so how was... How was teaching? This is your first time teaching, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I've never done anything like this before. How was this? For um, you? I'll admit the the PE portion of it. Oh, it was so fun because it was basically just me getting to play with the kids and just having a good time, you know, playing basketball or whatever they wanted to play. I know I made them run laps and stuff like that, yeah, but of course, of course. But uh, other than that, it was just so fun. I think the most difficult part was that was the English teaching hmm. because. I'm not that good in that subject, and uh, I feel like I learned a lot more than my students learned just because I started reading through the textbook to give assignments. I'm like, wow, I never knew this before, and so like, I started memorizing. So it was, but yeah, English was probably the most difficult one out of that. Most difficult. Okay. Yeah. So did you have, so it sounds like English itself was a struggle, but mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, did you have any other struggles as an SM this last year? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Um, I think most SMs do. Yeah. Uh, I did have some struggles. I had a lot of struggles, mostly uh, spiritual struggles, mm -hmm. because um, my relationship with God wasn't as strong. I feel like I went into the SM year without really a relationship with God, and then so dealing with, of course, with the struggles, you know, being away from home, and then you know, like especially around like this holiday seasons, right. seeing people back home eating turkey, and I'm sitting at home eating rice and curry. <laughs> Uh, it really made me miss home. And then, you know, I started asking the, the tough questions, like, why am I even here? You know, is this a waste of time? And I feel like those were some of the uh, hardest struggles I went through, but um, God really helped me through all of them. That's awesome. That's awesome. What did you, so you said God really helps you through all of them. Did. What, did, what did you do with God to help help this process of getting through with <laughs> right, the right. missionary? Right, um, right. So uh, I really had no idea how to go about having a relationship with God. I felt really lost in that area, but then um, this is what I think was amazing was all the people that were on the island with me, they all had such a fire to be with God, you know, and do what He wants and whatnot, and so I started just asking them, you know, seeing stuff that they did, you know, and it was just little bits here and there that started kind of coming together to, uh, for me and helping me build that own relationship with God and having to be uh, devotionals in the morning and stuff like that and just seeing Him start working in my life. That's super cool. I like that. So the atmosphere really helped. Yeah, it really did. That's awesome. Um, so take it, take it to a more, uh, well, I mean, hopefully a more humorous experience. Okay. Did you have any like crazy um, experiences, instances that came up on the island that were like, whoa, or like hilarious things that came up? Crazy experiences. Yeah. Um, I remember one time we had this old van. It was rusty, falling apart. There was like ants inside of it living somewhere. It was called Bertha. We called it Bertha, right? Bertha. And so this old van oh, Bertha. was kind of, the, the fuel gauge didn't work. Mm -hmm. And so we never knew how much fuel we had. We just kind of like 
estimated where we were at. And one day we had some really bad calculations because on the way into town, and it was like a couple miles into town, um, she stopped. Like the van stopped. It didn't work anymore. Like the, we had ran out of gas. And so we're kind of thinking, we're sitting at the top of the hill, right? And we have two options. Like, okay, we can either try and get to town, which is like a couple more miles or whatnot, or just head back to, to the house. And so we ended up making the decision back to the house. But what we did was uh, we opened the doors of the van and we all like stood on the side and started going down the hills, kind of like, uh, like a roller coaster. Oh my God. <laughs> it was really fun. But then like oncoming cars started coming. And so it was kind of like a bit sketch. But I think that was some of the good experiences, I guess. Yeah. It's a very calm island, though. A lot of the people keep to themselves. But um, some crazy stuff happened like, like uh, seeing ghosts in the jungle and stuff like really? that. Yeah. You heard about? Did you hear about this often? Yeah, yeah. You definitely hear about that, but then some of us actually saw it, and it was kind of like yeah. spooky. Oh, okay. It's a little spooky. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jose. We got like ten seconds. Tell me okay. what is your biggest takeaway from being a student missionary in Yap? My biggest takeaway from being a student missionary in Yap is uh, learning to to give up self and to really trust in God and and where he leads you. That's awesome. And now you are currently a theology major, right? Yeah. And you had switched from a different a different major, right? Yeah, I was uh pre PT. Okay. And so yeah. Sorry. No, we gotta no go. Worries. No worries. We no gotta worries. go. But it's a pleasure having you here, Jose. And I should mention Jose has been a friend of mine for quite a while and it's good to have him here. Thank you guys for joining us here on UView. And I hope to see you guys again for our next segment. Hi, right, welcome back to UView Variety here. We're gonna play another game for you guys with Jose Montes, Carson Gage. Uh, had them for interviews, and it's exciting to have them here for another game. Let's do this. Okay. So we got prompts in here. Okay. We're going to read it, and then we're going to try to guess what that person is thinking with our clipboards. Now, I explained that very vaguely, but I'm going to just show you guys how it's done. Here we go. Okay. Okay. While I was watching a movie at home, all of a sudden, I heard a loud... So now, you guys, I'm going to write down something you're going to have to guess what I wrote down. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, this is, uh, gotta think here. I don't know if I spelled that right, actually. You guys ready? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right, all of a sudden I was watching a movie and I heard a loud, what do you guys think? Flip it, flip it, flip it. Uh, Crash, bang, bang, noise. So yes? Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Did right? <laughs> all of the above, kept how, it simple. How creative. I know, I was uh, you know, feeling it, feeling the creative juices. All right, uh, Jose, you're next. Oh, okay. I was eating my lunch when a blank crawled out of it. Ooh. <laughs> uh -oh. um. What do you think Jose would say? I don't know, and I'm not going to tell you. What? Don't worry, you cheated. Look at mine. What are you doing? Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Hair. What? A hair crawled out of it? Could have been like a, a rabbit hair, you know? You spelled it wrong, though. No, I did. It's yeah, I know I spelled it wrong. Uh, I, I put was... lizard. I put gnat. Wow. <laughs> okay. Those gnats are pretty bad today, actually. He was talking about them. Yeah. So I, was, you know? I took a shot. All right. Carson, you're up. We got like 30 seconds for this one. All right, got it. Here we go. I was swimming when I felt blank in the water. When you felt blank in the water. Mm -hmm. Felt. What 
what are you going to write? Write. You know what you want to. I don't. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, I got it. Um, okay. I'm just going to keep it simple. Oh. <laughs> Almost kicked that over. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. And frogs? Frogs? Frogs. Okay. What? Pretty, pretty solid. I like that one. Hand? Mm. A hand? All right, guys. I want to thank you for joining us here <laughs> on UView. And I want to thank Jose and Carson for being here today. Yeah. Can't wait to see you guys again.